What's going on guys, Coach Doug here from Northern Baseball Training and in today's video I'm going to give you the exact daily routine that Ron Washington does with his players like Ozzy Albies, Dansby Swanson and the other Atlanta Braves infielders that help them become some of the most consistent infielders in the game. It's no surprise that the Braves won the World Series and it takes a lot that goes into being a world champion. Your hitting has to be hot, your pitching has to be hot, they have to be hot at the right time and at the same time but the thing that often goes overlooked is defense and I'm not talking about the highlight reel diving play in the hole, I'm talking about the routine ground balls that happen every inning. Of course everybody love seeing the amazing diving plays and that's what makes the highlight real but what's more important is the routine ground balls which we're going to work on today so just to give you a visual we're going to set up three balls like this first progression we're going to pick up a ground ball right in the middle coming through the ball like that with two hands Second part, we're gonna come forehand, coming through the ball, keeping our eye in line with our glove. And then we're gonna go to the backhand, same thing, keep your eyes behind the ball. Now the thing that we're working on here is we're working on picking up the ground ball on the last hop on the short hop. Ideally, we wanna pick up every single ground ball on the shortest hop possible or the high hop. So that's what we're working on here. So for the first progression of the drill, we're gonna have your coach or your partner stand about five, 10 feet away. And they're just gonna throw you nice soft short hops. Or if you're like me, set up your pitching machine and have fire muffins at you. Do about five to 10 of these progression, then switch. For the first one, they're gonna throw it right at us. Two hands, come through the ball. Now we're gonna work on our forehands. Make sure to pick the ball in the short hop, coming through the ball, eyes behind the ball. Now we're gonna move over to backhand. Same thing, get low, get your eyes low. Short hop, come through the ball like that. When you're doing these drills, whether it's forehand or backhand, it's really important to stay nice and short and through the ball. Okay, we don't wanna swing our arms like that on the forehand and the backhand, nice and short through the ball. So for the next stage of the drill, it's gonna be the same thing, but coach is gonna hit fungos at you, so you can kind of get a feel for the ball coming off the bat. But it's the same thing. Right at you, forehand, backhand. So for the next stage of the drill, we're gonna grab a pancake glove. If you don't have one, I'm gonna link them below. I'll link the nice Mizuno one here. And if you're balling on a budget, then I'll link the cheaper skilled one. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna do the first progression of the first drill. We're gonna have five to 10 balls hit right at us. We're gonna focus on staying nice and low, nice and wide. Our butt is back, our back is flat. Our glove is out front of our body and our head down when we pick it up on the short hop. And once you do five to 10 right at you, we're gonna shuffle side to side like that, pick it all up in front of you. So for the next stage of the drill, we're gonna do the first progression of the drill, but from our feet, starting with the backhand, then forehand, and then right in the middle. When you're doing these, you really want to focus on trying to get the ball where the palm meets the pocket. Okay, try not to get it deep in the pocket and try not to get it on the palm like that, kind of somewhere in the middle so you can get a good feel for the ball. So for the last stage of the drill, coach or your partner is going to hit you some ground balls. You're going to do one right at you, one on your forehand, one on your backhand, just rotate through that. And for the purpose of the drill, for the forehand and the backhand, use one hand, work on that for the forehand and the backhand, then for the one right at you, use two hands. Every day we go through this, the thing is, you got a lot of kids that can play defense, but don't know how. See what I'm saying? Ozzy can play, Camargo can play, Danson can play. But now what I'll do is I teach them how. A ball is hit right here. You see a lot of young kids slide and try to get in front of it. And now they got to start all over again. I teach these guys, ball hit over there, half a backhand, that sucker. Can't be afraid to use your backhand. I work their backhand for that purpose. I work the heck out of their backhand so they don't have to be afraid to use it. I work the heck out of their front hand so they don't have to be afraid to use it. I work the heck out of their hands this way so they won't be afraid to use it. So there's no balls that can hit at them that they can come and say, well, I didn't think I could catch it if I did that. We eliminating excuses because that's the way they work. I want them to be aggressive. I want them to make plays. 
If you boot it, give it back to the pitcher, get in your position and ask for another one. But we don't worry about mistakes. I do these drills every single day, whether it's with a partner, with a coach, or just throwing a ball up against a brick wall. And mix up the rep range, do 20 to 30 reps at each progression. The more work you put in, the more you're gonna get out of it, and the more consistent infielder you're gonna be. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps to grow the channel. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below. It really means a lot, and I'll see you guys next week.